Finally, Mr Speaker, she mentioned her awful anti-refugee bill. How can she justify a piece of legislation that would criminalise Ukrainians who arrive here seeking asylum outside the scheme she has announced today? Home Secretary. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I, I have to say, Mr Speaker, I, think the, I, I find the honourable gentleman's comments quite offensive, actually. Yeah. Insulting in every single way. And I say this, Mr Speaker, I say this, Mr Speaker, no, no, I think for the first time the SNP should stop playing politics, if I may say so. Um, at every single stage, on immigration issues in particular, we, no, I recognise and appreciate, fundamentally, we have a different point of view. Order. 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 No, no. Mr. Brendan McNeill, I expect better. You've been chirping. Oh, let me finish. I don't want you chirping all the way through. I want to make sure you get a question, and quite rightly, your question will be important. Don't waste that opportunity. Home Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Actually, Mr. Speaker, in response to the honourable gentleman who you have just asked to be quiet, effectively. I, if I could just point to the House, the Honourable Gentleman contacted me at the weekend, I think it was on Sunday, with a case, and he had a response back within minutes. Yeah. So exactly. I think let's just, yeah. let's just recognise that response came from me. I picked up that case personally myself. So I don't need to be told to be getting on with my job. Thank you very much. Yeah. And, and with, with regards, if I may, to the party opposite, I, I think actually, rather than making these these really quite offensive points. They are offensive. No, they are offensive. They're not. Primarily because, because I think there has to be a recognition here, Mr Speaker. Um, and I, and I, I'm very sorry that the party opposite doesn't want to listen to a word that I have to say on this. We have been working for weeks and weeks across government with countries in the region and the Ukrainian government. We are working to provide the schemes and the assistance that they have asked for. This is not a case of just saying carte blanche to X, Y, Z. We are developing the schemes in conjunction with them. We've known about the crisis on the ground for a considerable period of time. We've also known about the need to surge capacity in the region. That work has been taking place. And on that basis as well, as I've already said, Mr Speaker, you know, helping people should be our priority, not speaking about systems and process. We are absolutely circumnavigating that to make sure that we have the facilities in place so that we can triage cases for those people that want to come here, while also providing support to those that want to stay in the region. 